Hello and welcome to Skill Techathon. This is SQL interview questions and answer series. Today we are going to look into one of the SQL question. This is one of the most asked question in the interview. So we have been given two tables, table one with ID, then table two with ID as well. And there are few records in table one as well as table two. And we need to determine the total number of records obtained from table one and table two after we are performing inner join, left join, right join, full outer join and cross join based on the ID column. So during interview, they want to ask you to write the queries to get the number of records. They will directly tell you that there is table one with ID. These are the records and table two, these are the records and you, they will give you this kind of a table with total number of records we need to find out. So if we perform inner join between table one and table two, how many records will be there in the inner join? Similarly, for left join as well, if we perform left join on table one and table two, how many records will be there in the output? Same for right join, full join and cross join. However, in this video, first we are going to check how we can get the total number of records just by looking into the tables. Then we are going to perform it using SQL as well and check to verify our answers. Okay. So these are the two table, table one with IDs, one, 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 two, two, three, four and null, null values. Then table two with ID, one, 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 two, two, three and null values. And we are going to find out the number of records for inner join, left join, right join, full join and cross join. Now for inner join, so what inner join do, does is it matches only common non-null values from both the tables. For the first one, this one, let's make it yellow. From table one, for the first record one, there will be three matches in table two. So for this one, there will be three matches in table two. So we'll get three ones, one, one, one. This three ones for this yellow one, we are, will be getting. Now for the second one, for the second one, again, we'll be getting three rec matching records in table two. So again, we'll get three one. This three one is for this red one. Now for the third one in table one, we'll be getting again three ones from table two. So one, one, one. Three ones for the third one. Now for two, right? There are two matching records in table two. For the first two in table one, there are two matching records in table two. So these two, there will be two records. So we'll be getting two twos. Then now for the second two in table number one, we'll be getting two matching records in table two. So two, two, two records. Now for three, in table one, we'll be getting one matching record three in table two. So let's change the color a little. This three, this three. So here will be one, three. Now for four, there is no matching values. So for inner join, four won't come here. Then we have null values. So null values also won't come here. As for inner join, it matches only common non-null values from both the tables. Okay, so how many records we are getting? One, two, three. So there are three records here. Then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So for inner join in the output, we'll get 14 records. Okay, I hope you got it. How we got 14 records for inner join? The same thing we are going to do it in SQL as well to check if it is matches with our. Now let's go for left join. What left join does is it keeps all the rows from table one and matches with table two wherever possible. Then for unmatched rows, table one will have null for table two dot id. Now left join, it's simply inner join plus unmatched rows from table one. Now in inner join, we got 14 records. So 14 records and 
the unmatched rows. So what are the unmatched rows? See, one, 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 two, two, three. These are the matching records, which we get here in inner join as well. Left join is inner join plus unmatched rows from table one. And what are the unmatched rows? Four, then these two null values. For your understanding, this null value and the second null value, they are not the same. Both null values are different in SQL. So unmatched values, we are getting four null, null for the left join. So what will be the total number of records? 14, then one, then two, then three. So total will be 17 records for left join. Now for right join, it's almost similar. For right join, we'll have inner join plus unmatched rows from table two. For left join, we got inner join plus unmatched rows from table one. For right join, we get inner join plus unmatched rows from table two. So for inner join, we have 14 records. Then let's find out the unmatched rows from table two. So there is only one record which is unmatched from table two, that is the null value. All this one, 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 2, 2, 3 are matching with table 1. So we have only null values. So only null will come. So the total records is 14 plus 1, 15. So for right join, we will have 15 records. Okay. For left join, inner join plus unmatched rows from table 1. Right join, inner join plus unmatched rows from table 2. Now for full join, for full join, we will have inner join plus unmatched rows from table 1 for the left join plus unmatched rows from table 2 for the right join. Okay, let me write it here. So this will be the output for full join. Inner join plus unmatched rows from table 1 for left join plus unmatched rows from table 2 for right join. This will be the total record for full join. So for inner join, we have 14 unmatched rows from table 1 for left join is 4 null null. So we will have 4 null null. Then for right join, unmatched rows is null. Let's paste it here. So we will have 14, then 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4, 14 plus 4, 18 records in full join. Okay, I didn't write it here, right? For right join, we got 15 records earlier, right? Okay. Now, for cross join. So in cross join, what happens is every row in table one joins with every row in table two. It's a Cartesian product of table one and table two. So total records in table one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine records. So for cross join, we'll have nine into in table two. Number of records 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 9 into 7 will have 63 records. So in cross join, we'll have 63 records. I hope you got the idea how we found the num total number of records for inner join, right, left join, right join, full join, and cross join. Let's go to SQL and check if we are getting the same result or not. So for inner join, we got 14, left join 17, right join 15, full join 18, cross join 63. So manually, we found that inner join has 14 records, left join has 17 records, right join has 15, full join 18, cross join 63. I have already written the query to create the table, table 1 and table 2, and insert the values into table 1 and table 2. I'll also be adding these queries into the description so that you can create the table and verify it yourself. The number of records we'll be getting. Okay, let's check our table. For select star from table one to check table one. So in table one, we have ID. We have nine records. We have one, 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 then two, two, three, four, then null, null. This is our table one. Now let's check our table two. So for table two, we have seven records, one, 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 then two, two, three, null. These are the same table which were there in the question as well. Okay, now let's check for inner joint how many records we are getting. It's very simple, select 
third term table one for inner join you can simply write join or we can write inner join as well it depends upon us if we write inner join as here that's also correct or we can simply write join table two on table one dot id equal to table two dot id so this is the query to perform inner join select star from table one join table two on table one dot id equal table two dot id now let's run this query now let's check our output see we are getting 14 records in the output so manually also we got 14 records now we, what we can do is instead of a star we can write select count of star let's run this query see we are getting 14 records when we are performing inner join so for inner join we are getting 14 records and it matches with our previous calculation now let's perform left join let's copy this query and paste it here first let's check the records for we check the count select star from table one here before join we need to write left so left join table 2 on table 1 dot id equal table 2 dot id now let's run this query now in the output we are getting 17 records see 17 records and manually also we got 17 records now let's count this query as well so select count of star from table 1 left join table 2 on table 1 dot id equal table 2 dot id so we are getting 17 records 17 records for left join now if we check see we got 17 when we performed it manually as well now for right join let's copy this and paste it here let's make it right we just need to make it right wherever we have left okay select start from table 1 right join table 2 on table 1 dot id equal table 2 dot id now run this query see we are getting 15 records for right join now if we run this query count query as well to count the number of records let's run this we are getting 15 so for right join we are getting 15 records now let's perform full join full join so here instead of right we can write full and we'll be getting the output for the full join select star from table one full join table two on table one dot id equal table two dot id let's run this query and check how many records we are getting so we are getting 18 records for full join now if we perform count as well select count star from table one full join table two on table one dot id well table two dot id and if we run this we are getting 18 as the output so full join we are getting 18 and manually also we got 18 as the output now let's perform cross join cross join select star from table one cross join table two now in cross join we don't have to mention the condition on which we are joining like we did in full join left join inner join okay we simply need to write cross join and mention the table with which we want the cross join now let's run this query so how many records we are getting we are getting 63 records for cross join manually also we got 63 records okay now let's count the values as well select count of the from table one cross join table two now we are getting 63 records here as well for cross join so here it is 63 now manually also we got 63 so this is how we can do it to sum up for inner join we want all the matching records and this should be non null values okay for inner join we want all the matching records which should be non-null values 
for left join the number of records will be inner join plus unmatched rows from table 1 for right join it will be inner join plus unmatched rows from table 2 for full join it will be inner join plus unmatched rows from table 1 for left join plus unmatched rows from table 2 for right join now for cross join it will be a cartesian product of the number of records in table 1 into table 2 so table 1 we have 9 records so 9 in table 2 we have 7 records so 9 multiply by 7 we are getting 63 this is how we can manually get the number of records in inner join left join right join full join and cross join i hope you got the idea how we can perform it if you have any queries you can write it in the comment section we'll look into it and answer it accordingly thank you we'll see you in the next video